Hey guys, so as you can see by the title, today we will be going over why the Toronto Raptors will be a lottery team next year and why Kawhi Leonard means everything to that team. So without further ado, let's get right into this video. Make sure you do all that good stuff in the description down below. Turn on those notifications, subscribe if you're not already subscribed, and let's hop right in. Productions on the July 18th, 2018 was the date that Kawhi Leonard got traded to the Toronto Raptors. The Raptors went all in on that trade and got a player whose contract expired the next year and didn't even care that the Raptors weren't even on his list. The Raptors took, the Raptors took a crazy, insane risk. And all the fans of Toronto loved DeMar DeRozan. Apparently, the front office of the Toronto Raptors promised DeMar DeRozan that he wouldn't be traded. Obviously, Kawhi Leonard is a better player, but his contract is up after this season. The Raptors had a pretty good year this season going 58-24, and 24, and they managed to get past the first two rounds in the playoffs. But this series against the Milwaukee Bucks, the Raptors looked like they haven't even stood a chance against this team. And it doesn't look like Kawhi Leonard's getting any help. Kawhi Leonard is, av Kawhi Leonard is averaging over 30 points in these playoffs. Marcus Hall hasn't even been playing close to that defensive player of the year caliber that we know of him as. Kyle Lowry has been extremely bad. Like, Kyle Lowry has been awful. Pascal Siakam has also choked in the series. He is a young player and he's up for most improved player of the year, but the, Kawhi Leonard needs some sort of help. Danny Green's been playing bad, and there's not a lot of players on the Raptors that's been playing good besides Kawhi Leonard. If the Raptors want to beat a future super team like the Milwaukee Bucks, the supporting cast of the Toronto Raptors is going to have to step up. If we look at the Bucks, all their players are stepping up. Brooke Lopez is stepping up. Giannis is doing his thing. Eric Bledsoe is putting in good minutes. George Hill off the bench is putting in great minutes. Chris Middleton is doing his thing. Everybody on the Bucks are playing together and are playing really well. And the Bucks have way more pieces than the Raptors. If the Raptors lose this series, I think there's no way Kawhi Leonard resigns with this team. He didn't even want to be traded to this team in the first place. Going back home to Toronto, the Raptors are going to get a lot of help from their fans and are going to have a lot of momentum to win these next two games. But if the Raptors cannot win these next two games and cannot win the series, there's a, there's a really good chance that Kawhi Leonard leaves. I don't see Kawhi Leonard staying regardless. A big factor in Kawhi Leonard leaving or staying is Kyle Lowry in the backcourt. This year has been a really, really bad year for Kyle Lowry. You know, he's, he was still an all-star and he was still an elite point guard. But in the playoffs, he's regressed so much. And I think next year will be a big year for Kyle Lowry. If Kyle Lowry chokes these next two games, that's also helping the decision of Kawhi Leonard. Now, you guys might be thinking. Now, as you can see by the thumbnail, I have him in a Clippers jersey. I think that's the most possible destination for Kawhi Leonard. His camp has stated that he doesn't want to go to the Lakers and he doesn't want to play with LeBron. Yes, LeBron has tried to persuade Kawhi to come into the Lakers with him, but I don't think that's going to do anything for Kawhi Leonard. I think the Clippers are a perfect team. They have all the cap space in the world. They play together as a team. They actually have a system. They have an amazing coach and they're in LA. They have an amazing team, and it feels bad for me to say that because I'm a Lakers fan. Kawhi wanted to be in LA, and one of the teams he put on his list to get traded to was the Clippers. I think there's a great chance he'll go to the Clippers, knowing that the Clippers have a lot of cap space and would love to bring Kawhi in. Also, another team that was on the list of destinations was the New York Knicks. Now, I know it hasn't really been rumored that he'll go to the Knicks. Obviously, Kawhi Leonard wants to play on a big market team. I think the Knicks and Clippers are the two favorites for Kawhi Leonard to go to in the offseason. Let's say Kawhi Leonard leaves and goes to the Clippers. They are literally left with the supporting cast. This is exactly what happened to the Cleveland Cavaliers when LeBron left. Yes, I think the Raptors have a better supporting cast than the Cavs had with LeBron, but I think it's still going to be the exact same situation. If Kawhi Leonard leaves, I can see the Raptors being a draft lottery team. They won't be able to sign any other big free agents after Kawhi Leonard leaves, and they'll be left with P Pascal Siakam, who's going to be their most promising player. I think Spicy B can average 20 to 21 points a game in that number one scoring option. And Kyle Lowry will take Kyle Lowry will take a huge downgrade next year, which is also going to be really bad for them, and is going to help them be a draft lottery team. I shouldn't have said help, like, like help them. He's going to make them be a draft lottery team. Marc Gasol is also a free agent this offseason. He could go and sign with another team. I think there's a good chance he'll re-sign with the Raptors. But if he leaves, then the Raptors are definitely going to be a lottery team. If Marc Gasol 
and Kawhi Leonard both leave, the starting lineup for the Raptors would be Kyle Lowry, Danny Green, OG Ananobi, Pascal Siakam, and Serge Ibaka. To me, that's definitely not a playoff caliber team. Maybe they could squeeze into the AC, but I don't see that team being successful in the playoffs, and I could definitely see that team being in the draft lottery. Another reason why this team is similar to the Cavs is they're going to drop to the draft lottery now that their best player left, and they're going to get a promising young player like Colin Sexton in the draft next year. I could see them getting like the 11th spot, the 12th spot, snatching a good young player to go, maybe get a point guard. Next year's class is going to be filled with point guards as RJ Hampton, Cole Anthony, Theo Maladin, a lot of players that are great point guards. I can see the Raptors falling and snatching a point guard to replace Kyle Lowry. And maybe they could trade something for Kyle Lowry. It's been rumored that the Lakers are going to want to trade for Kyle Lowry. I don't know how true that is and I don't know how much we're going to want to give up for him. But still, that starting lineup, I don't think that's a really good playoff team. And I think Nick Nurse needs talent on his team to be a great coach, and I don't think he'll be a great coach for this team. And their bench will be cheeks. Like, their bench will be bad. It, they're not gonna have a true superstar. It'll be bad for the Raptors if Kawhi Leonard leaves. And like, if the Raptors cannot make the finals or cannot win the finals, I don't see Kawhi Leonard resigning in any way. And I can see the Raptors being a lottery team next year. The Bucks are already up two to zero in the playoffs and the Raptors play today. So the outcome of that game will be really vital to what Kawhi Leonard does in this offseason. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Make sure you do all that good stuff in the comments down below. Subscribe. Tell me how many games you think the Raptors Buck series will go, and tell me your thoughts about what's going on in the playoffs. I want to hear what you guys have to say. Anyways, guys, that'll do it for this video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.